I was born and bred in Sandy Row, a loyal orange prod, a follower of King William, that noble man of God. My motto, no surrender, my flag, the Union Jack, and every year I proudly marched to Finnehy and back. A loyal son of Ulster, a true blue, that was me, prepared to fight, prepared to die for faith and liberty. And as well as that, a Linfield man, as long as I could mind, I had no time for Catholics or, or people of that kind. And then one night in Bangor, I met wee Rosie Brown. And the minute I said eyes on her, my heart jumped up and down. And when I thought she fancied me, my brain was all a buzz, and I clean forgot to ask her what her religion was. Oh, I never slept a wink that night. I just I lay there in the bed, and I, I thought about wee Rosie and all the things she said. Ach, I know I, I, know I should have asked her be, before I made a date, before I, before I fell in love with her, but, but then it was too late. So when next we met, I told her, I'm a, I'm a prod, I'm staunch and true. And she says, I'm a Catholic and I'm just as staunch as you. <laughs> All the words were harsh and bitter. And then suddenly, like this, the centuries of hatred were forgotten in one kiss. That night I dreamt about her. A strange, confusing dream. I dreamt we both were singing the wearing of the green. And as we marched back from Finnehy, full of harmony and hope, who was there to greet us but His Holiness, the Pope? <laughs> when I awoke, I knew that dream was even more than true. The future we were heading for was, would be confusing too. Oh, indeed, when I thought about it, it was all too clear that that was to be the understatement of the year. Oh, I knew our love could bring us little but trouble and distress, but nothing in this world could make me love wee Rosie less. I saved a bit of money as quickly as I could, and I asked her if she'd marry me, and, and by God, she said she would. Well, then the trouble really started. Our folks were flaming mad, and, and when mine heard about it, sure, they were twice as bad. Her father said that from that day, he'd hang his head in shame, and, and by a strange coincidence, my old lad said the same. My mother cried her eyes out and, and said I drew the day that I, I let a pippish hussy steal my loyal heart away. Her mother said when she'd recovered from the blow that she'd rather see the devil than that man from Sandy Row. <laughs> well, in deference to Rosie, we were married in her church. Oh, well, my clergyman was there as well. He didn't leave me in the lurch. Ach, the priest was awful nice to me. Oh, he made me feel at home. You see, I think he pitied both of us because our families wouldn't come. Well, the place we went to live in it was nothing but the walls. It was, it was far away from Sandy Row and farther from the falls. But sure, that's the way we wanted it. For both of us knew well that, that back among the ones we knew, our lives would just be hell. But life out there for Rosie was, was lonely. Well, I knew. And of course, we had our share of religious differences too. <laughs> when Friday came along and, and Rosie gave me fish, and I looked at it and, and then at her, and says, that's not my dish. <laughs> I mind well what she answered, for she never said it twice. She says, to eat no meat on a Friday as a poor wee sacrifice to make for Christ who died for us one Friday long ago. Well, anyway, I ate the fish, and it wasn't bad, you know. <laughs> and then Sunday came, and I lay on, and she got up for mass, and Rosie turned to me and says, would you shift your lazy ass? For you have a church to go to, and that's where you should be. So get out of bed this minute, and you'll go part of the road with me. But we left the house together, but we parted down the line, and she went off to her church, and, and I went off to mine. And all throughout the service, even though we were apart, I felt that I was worshipping with Rosie and my heart. Ach, the weeks and months went quickly by, and, 
And then there come the day when Rosie Upton told me that a child was on the way. Oh. From that day on, my life becomes such a wondrous thing, like a, like a lovely flower unfolding its petals in the spring. I go root and tell our families for, for, the, for they never come to call, and we thought this news might heal the breach, and so it didn't all. My mother and then Rosie's come to visit in, in turn, and I marveled at the power of a, of a, a wee child yet unborn. Ah, but I was awful disillusioned when I found out why they came. It wasn't just to heal the breach or make it up again. Oh, no, no. Rosie's mother had come to say the child would be our sea, and mine had come to say it would be a Protestant like me. Oh, the rows before the wedding were surely meek and mild with, compared with all the rumpus that was risen about the child. From both sides of the family, insults and threats were hurled. Oh, what a desperate way to welcome a wee angel to this world. Well, the child must be a Catholic. No, the child must be a prod. But the last and powerful voice I heard was a mighty voice of God. And to his awful wisdom, I had to bow my head. Because when Rosie's time had come at last, the child was born, but dead. That night I sat by Rosie's side and just before the dawn, I kissed her as she left me to join her angel son. Oh, this orange heart was broken. Within them four bare walls, I, I thought, where the hell's the shankill now and, and where the hell's the falls? Well, in, in all the years that's passed since then, years of grief and pain, I'd give my life and even more just to see her face again. But the loneliness is, is near over now. I'll see her soon, I know, for, for the doctor told me yesterday I haven't long to go. And when I go up yonder, well, they let me in, I hope it. And if they ask me who I'm for, King William or the Pope, I'm going to take no chances. I'll answer loud and clear. I'm just a loyal Protestant that loved a papish here. But one way or another, I, I know they'll let me through. And Rosie will be waiting with her wee angel too. And then a child will lead them, the papisher and the prod, up the golden steps to heaven and to the house of God. Thank you.